Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new here. I'm going to get some messages for those of you who are in a Twin Flame connection, you're on the Twin Flame journey, you want to check in and see what's going on energetically between you and your person, we're going to see. Okay, so if you are connected to someone, doesn't matter how deep the connection is with the title you know, it is. It doesn't matter. If you're connected to someone you want to know what to expect in this connection. Let's see. And this is going to be for Pisces. We're going to do all the signs. This is going to be very short messages. I'm going to have all the message, all the um, readings on one video. I'm not going to separate. So they'll be time stamped. So Pisces, what is going on with you? Pisces, you're in a soul connection. It says your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. So some of you are in separation from your person, your soulmate. Um, we have intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. So if something has shattered. You know, this is your energy of being shattered. Like, you know, your dreams kind of like falling apart. So somewhere you have a lot of love for. There may be some turmoil between the two of you where the picture perfect thing has been shattered. Okay, the illusion has been shattered here, <clears throat> which you don't see coming as signs. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. So some of you, you, you know that this is your person. The challenge is love. Love conquers all and love is never a challenge, right? But I think the um, acknowledgement, the understanding, the awakening to it may have been a challenge here. And then your outcome is remarkable. Notice everything remarkable about your relationship. So I just hear spirit saying that you need to stay in the flow of love. Keep your energy high. Understand that the highs and lows come with the territory. And they absolutely do. Especially in a soulmate connection. And especially if you're dealing with a twin flame. Let's see. What's, in, what's the intensity all about? We have the hangman in reverse. That's your own energy. And then we have the five of swords. Definitely some conflict between you and this person. Could be um, an Aquarius or some of you could be on the Pisces, the Aquarius Pisces cusp. But definitely someone you're not willing to let go of. So you're holding on to this person, although there's conflict. I feel you holding on to each other, actually. What are these signs that you don't see coming? So some of you are going to start seeing synchronicities. Um, maybe you'll hear like your favorite song or something will just remind you of this person. We have the page of wands in reverse. The page of wands in reverse can represent some, some troubling news, some bad news. Um, but it also could represent immaturity. I think that because you all have not been able to accomplish love on the level that you've wanted it, that could be what it is. Yeah. Because we have the Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. So we have Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. Definitely someone that you two both share a lot of love with each other. This is a soul connection. This is a soulmate. You know that. But y'all are definitely facing some troubling times right now, some of you. And it could be because you found something out about this person doing something that was a little bit immature. Something that did not align with your expectations. Why is love the challenge? Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy, and the Four of Wands. Some of you could be married to this person. Could be an Aries or Taurus or someone on the cusp here. So what the challenge is, it's feeling like, you know, this person has maybe made you feel like you didn't fit into their life here. You could have met this person in your community. This could be a person that you have a lot of friends in common with. You just come from the same place, the same background. Okay, but there's something here about feeling like, you don't belong. There's been a separation. There's been a divorce. There's been something here because there was no equal give and take. One person was overgiving and the other person was overtaking. What is the remarkable energy here, spirit? Page of Pentacles. Be willing to learn from your mistakes. Some of you are dealing with a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we also have Virgo here with the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, someone... I feel like it's focused on their money, focused on their own success right now. The Page of Pentacles can represent someone who doesn't prioritize the relationship because they're worried about financial opportunities here. Their own security and stability could be dealing with an earth sign who has made you feel second to their money. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Swords. A lot of you are a bit guarded here, or this could be your person. Um, this is a need for an honest conversation. When this card comes out, it means you need to stand your ground. 
You need to be completely open and honest with your person. Set your boundaries and do not cross your own boundaries, okay? Let's get a message from your person. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? You are flawless. I wish to experience a love like yours for eternity. You and I are meant to be forever. So they want you to know that they see you the same way, although they may be acting up, not doing the things you need right now. You two will start to see signs that this love is coming together because it's remarkable. And overall, this is your soulmate. You're meant to be. But these ups and downs are par for the course. So take it in stride. Take the good with the bad and understand that the only thing you need to do is set and reinforce your boundaries and this person will put the effort in i hope you all enjoy that i will see you all tomorrow for happy wednesday like subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you pisces hello aries welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before thank you so very much for joining me this is going to be for aries simon venus rising take what resonates with the rest for someone else this is going to be a twin flame message okay so if you're on the twin flame journey and a connection with your twin flame, your soulmate, stick around and let's see what's going on here. What's the current energy between you and them? Remarkable. Notice everything remarkable about your relationship. Some of you are married to this person. Some of you could be musicians here. What is it that you don't see coming between the two of you all? We have let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. Okay. That's what you don't see coming. What is the challenge here for Aries? Embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Okay. And the outcome. The outcome is enlightenment. And enlightenment tried to come out for you as your first card. <laughs> it says, with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. So I am definitely picking up some of you are in separation. Much like Pisces just got here. There's a separation between you and your twin. Overall energy is guilt. Don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. Some of you could have been in some type of legal dispute with your person here. It could be child support, divorce, whatever it may be. Because you see the two wedding rings there. Um, I definitely feel like there's a lot of love here. But I do feel separation. So let's see what's going on. What's this remarkable? Notice everything remarkable, remarkable about your relationship. Three of Pentacles. So you two work very well together. And then we have the moon. I think that this is you all not recognizing just how serious and how um, deep and important this connection is. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Some of you could be on the cusp. Pisces, Aries cusp. And then we have uh, Capricorn energy here as well. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. But I do feel like Aries, that there is someone in your life that you, you work very well with. You, you two partner very well, could even have a business together. And there's something here about you you all not being able to see it says notice everything remarkable about your relationship you could be comparing it to a past relationship holding on to trauma from the past you or your person someone is not able to see just how important this connection is although you know there's a difference between knowing and and like you know applying that we have knowledge of a lot of things we don't apply okay what is it that you don't see coming and we have let go and we have the ace of cups and the lovers beautiful energy so we have cancer pisces scorpio and gemini energy here so what i see is that when you let go for those of you who may be holding on very tightly to the notion of getting back with this person i feel spirit saying when you actually let go that this new love comes in this new um offer comes in from your person and this is your soulmate i mean we already know that this is a twin flame reading so there's a lot of love between the two of you this person has overflowing love for you um even though they may have had to let go some of you could be dealing with a pisces someone maybe had to make a hard decision to walk away for whatever reason let's see what the reason was what's the reason that someone let go we have the ace of swords someone had clarity that it was just something that they had to do and it's taken a lot of willpower for this person to walk away but they had to walk away because it was clear to them that was the best thing to do some of them had to focus on their own well-being their own money their own success what is this embrace as the challenge so i feel you too you haven't been able to accept things as they are look at this eight of wands a lot of delays, a lot of miscommunication, and the four of scores. Yeah, someone definitely kind of put this on ice. This is why I put this on ice card. Someone is just really contemplating and thinking. They're thinking about how to communicate, how to come back, how to fix it, and make a move towards you. But there's been a lot of miscommunication, and someone shut down, okay? It was a necessary break, though. 
but they're trying to figure out how to come back and, and rectify and remedy the issues between the two of you because there's been a lot of delays here things just were not going according to plan what is this enlightenment and the outcome we have the five of swords aquarius energy and we have the four of wands so someone doesn't feel right without you with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine, but there is a separation. And this person feels like you feel like home to them. They want to come home to you. Someone did something because the overall energy is guilt. Okay. So you two have been bickering about something and the, the guilty party feels guilty. Let's see what the guilt is about. The Ace of Pentacles was in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. Um. <clears throat> So this person feel like, feels like they missed an opportunity with you. Some of them feel like it has something to do with money. If it was a court situation, again, it could be child support. It could be alimony. It could be divorce. It could be anything. But there's definitely a feeling of like some materialism, some type of bad investment here, something backfiring as far as money goes. What is the guilt about? Page of Wands. Um, someone is definitely very enthusiastic here. This is also, I feel like this person letting you know that they will be coming in with some kind of apology here. There's some good news coming in for you. There's a message coming in here. I feel like somebody is very passionate and maybe they, they could have been um, unfaithful to you. The Page of Wands is pretty unfaithful. Um, he's definitely motivated by his passions, his desires, and he can be a heartbreaker. So someone could have broken your heart here. Let's get a message. I don't want these reasons to be too, too long. You have two. We have, you speak, oh, you have three. You speak my love language. So um, this person is your dream person. Could be a Scorpio. We have my ex still means a lot to me. I think that's you. And then we have, I've already made my decision. I choose you. So they're coming back. They ain't going nowhere. They will be back. Um, This person is making a judgment call. I just thought a judgment card. They're making a judgment call to follow their, um, higher calling and it's you coming back your way okay so aries those are your messages thank you so very much for joining me i will see you all tomorrow for wealthy wednesday got some new decks coming in some old decks i realized i hadn't been using that were finance decks and so we're gonna have some fun with that tomorrow don't know if i'm gonna do the individual signs or if i'm going to do um the videos broken down um just in one video so just stay tuned look out for your sign and look out for a video tomorrow peace aries hello taurus welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before thank you so very much for joining me this is going to be for those of you who are on the twin flame journey this is twin flame tuesday so you're connected to someone you feel like is a soulmate or you know is a soulmate because you would know a twin flame this is going to be for you what's going on in your connection this is for uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Y'all, please don't try to force these readings, okay? What is it that you don't see coming? We have emotions and we have labyrinth. What is the challenge between you and them? We have guilt. And the outcome, we have surprise. The overall energy is openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. Some of you are praying. You are praying for this person. Probably praying for them as an individual, but also praying for them and you, the connection, okay? Be open to receive whatever it is that you are praying for, though, okay? All right, so we have emotions, labyrinth, guilt, and surprise. So some of you, it says look deep within your emotions. You are feeling so much for this person. Very intense feelings and emotions here. But it says even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth. There's some confusion. This person is leaving you kind of at a loss. You don't understand. You're speechless. <laughs> okay. And then the challenge is uh, guilt. Someone could be in court. Someone could be embroiled in some type of legal battle or conflict here. Doesn't have to be with you. It could be with someone from their past. It could be. It could also be with you. I mean, it, it just depends. It's going to be different for everyone. Don't let guilt get in the way of happiness. But for others of you, this person seems to be feeling guilty, maybe about confusing you here, okay? Whether they tell you that or not. Your outcome is surprise. You may be about to be surprised. So I feel like Spirit is saying, as long as you open yourself up, manifest this if you want it. Look what's under that, y'all. You can't make it up. Be receptive. Yes, you've got to be receptive to what you pray for. 
Okay, so a surprise is going to come to you, but it's going to be a welcome and almost expected surprise if you are manifesting this person. They are coming back. They ain't going nowhere. I keep telling y'all, that was the message I think last week. These people ain't going nowhere. What is, what is the emotions and the Karen energy? Seven of Pentacles and Knight of Swords, yeah. Okay, so I feel like you've made investments. This is our own energy, Taurus. You've made investments um, in this connection, something you've been very invested in. And Spirit is saying that you will get a return on your investment. You will enjoy the fruits of your labor because this person is rushing towards you. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, rushing in unstoppable i'm coming to get you there's nothing you can do about it okay what is the labyrinth that person doesn't take no for an answer they are very confident determined and impulsive so they will pop up out of they will be a surprise because they will pop up and you'll be like where are you come from okay hermit mm -hmm. and then the page of wands yeah so some of you are dealing with a virgo or some of you are dealing with a leo aries or sagittarius who could be younger than you who's confusing you this person is very passionate about you right but they shut down sometimes. And you're like, how do you go from one extreme to the other? You go from leaving me in the dark. I don't know what's going on till you come on hot and heavy. Yeah. So they are confusing. They are confused. <laughs> what is the guilt? I think it's just them feeling guilty for the way that they send you these mixed emotions. Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm, emotions. And a Six of Wands. Some of you, this person could be in the public eye. Or you could be. Um, very popular. Very successful. Very well known here. Okay. Could be a Leo, could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. There's so much love here. This person has so much love for you. But if you look at the body language of the cards, right? It's like the love is going one way and this card rep represents victory and success. And that card is going another way. This is the guilt. This is why they had this guilt here because they're being pulled in two different directions. Heart is pulling them this way, but their ambitions are pulling them the other way. And so there's a conflict and they feel guilty about that because they definitely have a lot of love for you. A lot of compassion, a lot of feelings and sensitivity and emotions. What is the surprise? Okay, wait a minute. I don't have any of my cards upside down, but I mean, you know, in reverse. But this one came out in reverse. The um, temperance in reverse and the hierophant. Now, what is the temperance in reverse? That's fast. <laughs> surprise. See, the temperance upright would be the moving slow, being balanced, taking their time. This is someone who's coming in. Like I said, I'm coming to get you and there's nothing you can do about it. They see that they belong with you. The higher fun is about, about commitment. Okay. I feel like this, is, this person is kind of like throwing caution to the wind. They throwing out the rule book here. They don't want to play by the rules. They want to come in very in a very shocking, surprising way. And they're, they're coming back because they see you as the person they belong with. The Hierophant represents the person you feel like you belong with. And this is our own energy here. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or another Taurus. Okay. What is this openness about? Openness is the Seven of Cups. So look, a lot of you are going to have a lot of options. A lot of people vying for your attention. But I, I feel like you just have this one person that you want. Could be a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be a Scorpio. But Spirit is saying be receptive. Um... Maybe it, it may even be necessary for a period of time to date, date around, date other people. Keep your options open. I don't know. It says openness and that card represents options. Maybe this person will appreciate you if you if they feel like there are other people vying for your attention. Because with the six of wands, there are definitely people vying for your attention. Okay. One message. What's the plan? Where is this going? <laughs> so they want to know where this is going. So they're just as confused as you for some reason, okay? Those are your messages, and I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. If you liked the video, if it resonated, if you got value out of my content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, Taurus. Join the family. Thank you to everyone who's becoming a member of my little community over here. I appreciate you all. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace, uh, Taurus. Hello, Jim and I. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for those of you who are on the Twin Flame Soulmate Journey and a connection with someone and you want to check in energetically and see what's going on in your connection. Okay. Okay. So your overall energy is boundaries. Having sensible boundaries is important. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what's going on because somebody testing you. We have your strength your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. 
Mm, we have temptation as what you don't see coming. Think carefully about the situation. We have your um, challenge as 11. 11. 11. 11 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. And then the outcome is soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Pisces got this card as their current energy, okay? Some of you could be connected. Doesn't have to be the case, but... So some of you are in a connection with someone where either the boundaries are being tested between you and them, or there's a third party testing the boundaries of this relationship because there's some type of temptation here coming in. Spirit is telling you to think carefully or your person to think carefully. Flip the roles how you need to, guys. But this is definitely a soulmate. You got two cards confirming that. Um, but it's definitely... There's definitely something going on here with some type of third party energy. It doesn't have to be a person. Some of you, I see someone like taking a test here. It could be work. It could be money. It could be school. It could be anything. Let's clarify. What's tested? Three of Pentacles. Did Taurus just get that? No. Was it Aries? I think it was Aries. In the same position. Okay. And then we have the Empress. Wow. Okay. Some of you have a child with this person or children with this person. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Libra or a Taurus, okay? This is someone you're extremely attracted to. This is someone who's extremely attracted to you. And you all work, work very well together. You can have a business together, okay? Definitely a very good collaborative effort. A lot of cooperation between the two of you all. I feel like there's a very balanced relationship here. Very healthy, happy relationship here. But it's being tested um let me get one more card what is testing this relationship it could be someone's child's mother or father from a previous relationship i'm picking up more mother than father ace of wands some of you this relationship may be being tested because it's a physical connection um and you all haven't gone deeper than that you all feel a lot of passion for each other a lot of desire for each other here um, and it may be stopping right there. It may not be progressing, although there's the potential for you two to work very well together. And this this to be a very solid commitment. The Empress represents commitment, marriage, you know, a very stable connection. So I feel like maybe the passion is getting in the way. I mean, that's crazy because it says your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. So there may be some temptation because one or both parties might only be looking at this from a physical perspective yeah queen of wands very physical very and queen of pentacles see there are two feminine energies here in this temptation i don't like that gemini so okay yeah somebody could be going back and forth between you and the mother of their child okay or their their child's other parent fire sign leo aries sagittarius earth sign taurus virgo capricorn there's definitely someone here that is a solid partner. Gemini, we're not about to go back to this because your readings used to be this way a couple weeks ago. And then we, we graduated and you had left that past person, but that past person is here. And I, and I feel like she, whoever this person is, they're extremely bossy, controlling, ruthless. And then you have this other person who's more stable, more loving, nurturing, and kind here. Okay. Spirit is saying be open and honest here. Open and honest, be kind, be fair. All right? That's for you or your person. What's the 1111 as the challenge? Look at this, the lovers, the soulmates, and the hangman. Okay. So you all want to harmonize this. Same energy. Harmonizing the connection has been a challenge. But you want to. And someone is trying to get a different perspective here. It could be a Pisces. could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Another Gemini. Someone is thinking about how to harmonize this relationship, but there is a challenge here um, in doing so. Let me see if I can get what the challenge is. Somebody is single, making a lot of money, and that's what they're super focused on. And that has been your energy for the past couple of weeks as well. So it's like making a decision between being by yourself and being content with that. Do I really want to share my life with someone? Although you have a very strong connection. What's the soul? Ace of Pentacles, very solid partner. Four of Wands, marriage material. This is family. This is community. This is the person that you see yourself being with. Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay. Very stable person. Very solid connection. Very good money. A lot of success. A lot to celebrate. You two are coming back together. Boundaries. 
what is the boundaries all about? The Ace of Swords. Being extremely clear and communicative about your feelings. This is about you letting this person know or them letting you know how they feel about you, not missing their words, being very clear and um, improving their communication with you, letting you know that they want you. Let me get one message from them to you. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Gemini? The answer to your question arrives via a complete stranger divinely sent your way. Pay attention, listen closely. And I always say that could be me delivering these messages to you all. So take what resonates y'all. I feel like um, boundaries need to be set. People have to respect the relationship on both sides. And it has to just be a clarity about prioritizing this relationship, okay? I see marriage possibly in the future for you too. I see things working out if you two put in the effort, okay? Thank you for joining me, Gemini. I'll see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Peace, y'all. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. And this is for those of you who are on the Twin Flame journey and a soulmate Twin Flame connection. And you want to know what's going on energetically between you and your person. Things that may be said, may be unsaid. A little bit of clarity on what's going on. We have guilt as the Karen energy. What you don't see coming, 1111. Biggest challenge, feelings. And the outcome is receptive. Okay, openness is the overall energy. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships, okay? Some of you could have met someone in church or something like that. Your religious institution. Um, somebody has guilt about something here. I don't know why I'm picking up, y'all. I don't know why I'm picking up that y'all are dealing with somebody who's coming out of another connection. It's just so crystal clear to me. So if that resonates with you, keep listening, okay? Even if it doesn't, things could change, so just stick around. But I feel like y'all are dealing with someone here. It could be an Aquarius. doesn't have to be an Aquarius, but someone who could have been in a divorce, um, going through a divorce recently, and then they met you, and they're like, this is my person. And these feelings have been hard to fight here. We have don't let guilt, guilt get in the way of happiness. 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Uh, take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing and then receptive. Be ready to receive what you what fate has planned for you. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus here. Another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Gemini. But yeah, spirit is saying be open to this, okay? So these feelings are not to be ignored and they are not meant to make anyone feel guilty. Let's see, what's the guilt about? The Hierophant, see, somebody's beliefs, somebody's belief system, and it's about a commitment. Look at this, the Six of Cups in reverse. Definitely an X. It's a situation that someone is moving away from and they're releasing it. They're releasing the guilt. Could be with a Scorpio, could be with a Taurus. Someone is walking away from that they were married to. I told you I felt that. What is the, um, what you don't see coming here between the two of you soulmates? Look at this, justice. This could be that divorce being finalized and them coming towards you. Could be a Libra. Someone who wants to harmonize and balance this relationship in the five of wands. Some of them are walking away from a Leo or they could be a Leo. And this person is going to make it extremely hard for them to move on. I'm sorry to tell y'all, but that's what I see. I see legal battles, disputes. We got all these cards showing me. Even the Hierophant can represent institutions. It can represent government. And I'm just picking up a lot of energy of a person not wanting to let go of your person, Cancer. Okay, what are the feelings as the challenge? But they can't fight these feelings. Look. They're putting in the work. They are putting in the work for you. Patient. A lot of you all are being patient with them as well as they go through this. But they are putting in the work. Some of them may have to move out, relocate, whatever it might be. But look, they have a different perspective on things. It could be a Pisces or a Virgo that you're dealing with here. They're looking at things completely different than before. And they're really willing to surrender that other connection to come towards you. What is this receptive? Four of Wands, they feel like you feel like home to them. They belong with you. Look at this. Three of Wands, they are planning. I told you some of them may have to relocate. Could be an Aries here, two Aries cards. This person is definitely leaving this other person for you. Look at this. Openness. And then the Four of Cups is here. So they're bored in this other connection. Look at this. Grass is greener on the other side, planning to move on. Cancer energy. 
um, Aries energy. And then the Four of Pentacles, this person is holding on to you because, look, they feel like you are fated to be together. And look, with, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you and you get the Wheel of Fortune. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy, Aries, and your own energy. Those are the messages. Let me grab one of these. What do they want to say to you? Just one message from them to you. What would they say? Look what they say. I do. <laughs> Could be a Taurus. Traditional values and beliefs. They want to marry you. They want to get out of this other situation that is no longer working. And they want to work towards marriage with you. We had the four of wands. They see you as someone that they want to spend the rest of their lives with. Okay. So they feel like you have been a blessing to them. This other person's got to go and they are closing out that cycle with them to start a new one with you. Those are your messages, Cancer. Thank you so very much for joining me. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell if this resonated. I would love to have you as a part of our community that is growing every day by leaps and bounds, okay? Come back tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. See you all then. Peace. Hello, Leo. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest with someone else. If it's not your story, guys, please do not try to force it to fit. We have boundaries as your Karen energy. Embrace as what you don't see coming. Biggest challenge for you is Cupid. Your outcome is attraction. And your overall energy is spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning, okay? So outside of your connection with this person, some of you are also on a spiritual journey. You're awakening, you're evolving, okay? So we have, have having sensible boundaries is important. Gemini got this as well. You could be connected to a Gemini, uh, which you don't see coming. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. And then we have Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. This is your challenge with your outcome being attraction. Divine soul counterpart, attraction transcends superficiality. So yeah, you all have a very spiritual connection here. And look, wow, you, you can't make this up. Look what I just said. I said a spiritual connection and look, look what's under it. Spiritual connection, okay? All righty, let's see. What's going on here? So you're in a connection with someone or you're about to be. I feel like it's a connection that's going to the next level. I think you're already connected, but you're about to take it to another level. Yeah. Boundaries. Okay. Somebody does have boundaries. Okay. Having sensible boundaries is important. It's clarified by the hangman, Pisces energy, and the four of cups, cancer energy here. Um, some of you may have been given this person a run for their money. You may not have been receptive or right now you may not be receptive to love. Some of you could be focused on something else here. You could be focused on a past relationship that didn't work um, where you've made mistakes before. Or some of you could feel like you're being rejected by this person here. But someone is taking a different look at this, a different perspective. They're changing their mind. Okay. So if it looks like it's over, if you're already in a connection or if it looks hopeless, if you're not, just know that someone is thinking about you. They're thinking about how to come out of this um, stagnation, but you don't see coming. Ace of Pentacles, yes, a very solid offer is coming your way. Some of you also have good money, a new career or something coming your way, a new job opportunity. And then we have the Six of Wands, your own energy. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo energy here. Spirit is saying, not only do you have a new opportunity coming in, embrace what destiny has in store for you. And what destiny has in store for you is a new beginning that is going to be very successful. Some of you could be in the public eye. You are the fifth house. Fifth house represents entertainment. So some of you could be involved in entertainment and subcapacity. You're just very popular. You could be an influencer. You could be anything that has you in the public eye with a lot of people vying for your attention. But there's going to be one solid offer that's coming your way. Um that's actually going to be the best thing for you and you're going to choose it okay what is this cupid some of you may have found love to be an issue we have the three of cups and then we have the eight of cups this could be someone you walked away from that you are reuniting with could be a cancer could be a pisces here love is in the air when cupid's around definitely a lot of emotions all this water energy so this is someone that you have a lot of love for i feel like it could be a past person for some of you not everybody but for some of you there's a past person coming and um they want to reconnect with you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to have some fun with you. They miss you. And this is someone who walked away from you or you walked away from here. 
We have attraction and it's the tennis boys in reverse, which is very good. And then we have the page of cups. So yeah, this person that you had this ending with, things are turning around. They're closing out this cycle because of this attraction to you. They're being magnetized your way. And this person is possibly a younger water sign or a Gemini. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. And this person is looking at you thinking, I want to make this offer to you. Look how he's making an offer to this person who's like upside down with all these swords, right? <laughs> And they want to come in and make this offer to you and kind of like turn things around for you. Spiritual is being clarified by the King of Swords. So some of you, this is honest communication coming in, some truth coming in, someone very fair and logical, someone who's a great leader, someone, oh, this is the King of Wands. I don't know why I thought, I thought this was the King of Swords. This is the King of Wands. But a very great leader, someone very passionate about you, someone very um, honest with you, loyal to you, wants to take care of you. Let me get one message from your person. Look what's on top, power couple. <laughs> what do they want to say to you? Let me get one message, please, spirit. We have acceptance. It's like you let this go. We have Scorpio Aries energy. It's like the tower letting something go and actually something better is born from it. So I think you too, if this person has been rejecting you or you've been doing this, whoever's been doing it, there's a turning point. And things actually are victorious for the both of you. New love, new money, new everything coming in for you, Leo. Thank you so very much for joining me. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell if this resonated. And I will see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. Peace. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. This is going to be Twin Flame Tuesday, y'all. So if you're in a connection with a soulmate, a Twin Flame, this could resonate with you. This is going to be what's going on in your connection right now. What's happening between Virgo and their twin? We have synchronicity. What you don't see coming is tested. The biggest challenge between the two of you all is enlightenment and the outcome is challenges. With the overall energy being openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. Um, yeah, so some of you are going through something in your connection here with your person. All right, Virgo. So there are synchronicities. A divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. So you could have met this person in a very um, serendipitous way. You know, and that's, it didn't necessarily make sense. Um, it was kind of, it felt like a fluke. It felt like a coincidence. But actually, this is like divine intervention bringing you with, bringing you and this person together here. But there are some challenges coming up. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. This could be an individual thing or this could be as a couple. Your challenge is enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine, okay? So some of you could be in separation from this person, or when you go through these challenges, you will be. And it may be a feeling of feeling like you're alone. Spirit is saying that you're not, okay? And you're also always connected to your person, but there are some challenges. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So you all can overcome this. Stay open. What is the synchronicity here? What is the synchronicities about? Page of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a younger Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and then we have the Eight of Cups. Could be a Pisces here. You know what I get? I get that when you meet this person at the time that they make this offer to you or when you met this person, they were walking away from something else. It's almost like the synchronicity was that they were leaving something and starting something new, Okay. So I feel like this person could be a younger earth sign. They definitely want to make some kind of offer to you if they have not already. This could be happening right now. This is the current energy. So it's either something that's going to happen soon or something that has already happened. Okay. What is this tested? Why are your strengths and weaknesses being tested as your future, which you don't see coming? Okay. Eight of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Knight of Pentacles. It's because of money. This could be you or your person. Someone has some opportunities possibly to take a job somewhere, very long-term job here, very long-term uh, success, a lot of money, a lot of abundance here, but it may involve them traveling. And it could be also that this person, it could even be travel abroad, like moving abroad or just moving away. And um, it also, this here could represent like really slow energy. The Knight of Pentacles takes his or her time, okay? So this could be a situation where you want like 
this is fast this is slow <laughs> that could be the reason why there's a conflict here which you don't see coming maybe one of you wants it really bad and wants it really quickly and then the other one wants to take their time because they're, th they're planning for the long term here but it also could be an opportunity to make money somewhere else that could be pulling them away or testing the relationship okay what is it what are the challenges here enlightenment because remember it says there's no separation so someone may be moving yeah there's something vague that you are not enlightened by the empress here a lot of love unconditional love here even though there's some vague energy with this enlightenment we recognize that we are one with the divine there is no separation some of you you want to just really nurture this connection but it feels very uncertain you feel like you don't know if it's going to work we have uh taurus libra and pisces energy there there's a feeling um both of these cards represent the divine feminine, okay? So this person sees you as their divine feminine, but there's some uncertainty about whether they can pull it off with you. These challenges, what are the challenges? Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy. And then the Two of Swords. Some of them have to make a decision. And so, for some of you, the decision is somebody from their past. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Libra, or you could be dealing with the Libra. But definitely or scorpio this it doesn't have to be those signs just could be those signs but the challenge is yeah this person has to overcome something from their past they have to release something from their past okay that they are having a hard time releasing openness the hangman they have to be willing to surrender this other thing could be it with the pisces and they have to sacrifice it they gotta surrender and they gotta you know give this a chance with you so those are your Tarot messages. Let's grab one message from them. What would they say to you? Enough already. Interrupting the pattern. This is why they are in this energy here. They're thinking very hard. I want to grab one more because I want to know what are they going to decide? They're interrupting the pattern. So they are at least willing to surrender this. They're watching. So they're watching you. This person might be an air sign. Libra, Christ, Gemini. Could be younger. Doesn't have to be. But they're like watching you and seeing if they should do this they're definitely taking a look at you they are watching <laughs> they're definitely look they're they're planning and plotting whether they should walk away from something or someone else and come towards you and travel could be involved here okay so i'm gonna leave it there i'm not gonna keep pushing because this is what they want you to know right now they're considering this connection with you but something else has to be completely done away with i don't think they're like in another relationship but i do feel like there's someone that still has some kind of hold on them okay so those are your messages virgo thank you so very much for joining me don't forget to like the video subscribe hit that notification bell and come back tomorrow where we will be talking about our finances as a collective wealthy wednesday what can you expect in your finances and your career see you all tomorrow peace Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is going to be for the sign of Libra, sign of Moon, Venus rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, guys, please do not try to force it to fit, okay? This is going to be Twin Flame Tuesday. If you're in a soulmate, Twin Flame connection, this could resonate with you. What's going on between you and your person? What is going on? between Libra and their person, their twin. We have universe. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. What you don't see coming is true love. True love comes when you least expect it. Your biggest challenge here is being receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. And your outcome is trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. You cannot make your reading more succinct. We have synchronicity. As your overall energy a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity so there's someone you are connected to right now some of you may be unawakened or your partner your person may be unawakened to um, this connection but so many things that the universe is sending their way or your way is letting you know this is your person don't blow it <laughs> don't blow it libra all right libra let's see what they got to say to you Let's clarify. Okay, what is this universe about? The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. The chariot, you are definitely on your way 
quickly to your person. Ace of Swords is definitely very clear. Somebody is getting clarity that you are the one. Could be a Cancer, could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini here, okay? So another air sign like yourself. Somebody's eyes are completely open. An awakening has taken place. An epiphany has gone off. A light bulb is all the way lit up, okay? And there are some drastic positive changes coming in, some triumph, some victory, some success. Somebody is determined to make this happen. What is this true love? What is true love? What you don't see coming? Wow, nine of cups, your wish fulfillment, Pisces energy, and the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially Taurus, okay? So you have either Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but those could be the person's sign. This is your true love. This is a very solid partner here. Someone very financially stable. Someone who is everything that you could ever wish for in a partner, okay? Why are you not being receptive or your person not being receptive? Because this is the challenge. So what is the, you know, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody moves slow. <laughs> it could be a Virgo. Two of Swords, Libra energy. Somebody can't make a decision. Somebody can't make a decision, although they see this is a stable offer. This is a, a long-term, possibly a long-term commitment here. Very dependable, very stable, um, very trustworthy, good offer. Somebody's undecided. They feel like they can't make a decision between... What is it that they can't... I mean, can't make a decision about the emperor. Could be an Aries involved here. This could represent a father figure, a paternal figure, divine masculine. There's a fire sign. There's like a Aries fire energy here. Someone very domineering, very controlling, a bully. There's a bully here that's blocking this. It could be a father, Scorpio, death. Hmm. There's a belief that somebody's holding on to you about relationships that has to go. And it's really in their, this person's head where they, they can't walk away from it. They can't separate themselves from it. They can't kill it off in their head. They just can't do away with it for whatever reason. Trust is the outcome. Look at this. Nine of Swords. Gemini energy and then the Ace of Pentacles, Tar Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is regretting if they don't take this offer, they're regretting it. They're regretting not taking it because look at the order. This person is regretful, remorseful that they didn't take this offer that was presented to them. A very solid offer. This could be a new job, new money as well, new financial opportunity, a windfall of abundance here. And the synchronicity is clarified by the tower because look, something ended in order for this to come together. It's not a coincidence, okay? Could be with a Scorpio. Okay, we got the death card and the tower. What is it that they want to say to you? One message from them to you. We have, I feel unappreciated no matter what I do. It's never enough, okay? So, I don't know if that's how... Um, they think you feel or that's how they feel. Take what resonates y'all. So somebody here feels like they're making efforts and they're just not being received by the other person. And maybe this is why somebody is regretting not taking this offer. Those are the messages for you, Libra. I hope it resonated. Hope it made sense. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody else. If it didn't, check another reading, another placement in your chart. And I will see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Peace, Libra. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates. Leave the rest with someone else. If it's not your story, guys, please do not try to force it. Flip the roles as you see fit. Could be past, present, future energy. Could be someone else in your energy field, okay? This is the Twin Flame reading. So for those of you in a Twin Flame connection on the journey, soulmate, these messages could resonate with you what is going on we have embrace embrace what destiny has in store for you what you don't see coming is recognition the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles biggest challenge here is honor honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becomes stronger and the outcome is you need to have faith you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish 
flourish. Um, attraction is your, nope, that wasn't it. Intense is the overall energy. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. So some of you could be going through ups and downs with your person here. You could be connected to a Capricorn. Don't have to be, but it could be a Capricorn. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. Wow. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. So some of y'all are coming out of a period of stagnation and rejection here. To actually welcome in love. Um, Scorpio or someone is doing this for you. Someone who may have been rejecting you here. Yeah, they want to make a solid offer now. They want to be loyal and faithful to you. Could be a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Cancer. All right, Scorpio. Recognition, which you don't see coming. Page of Cups. This person wants to make an offer to you. They want to invite you out on a date or they want to send you some kind of love message. Um, they want to let you know how they feel about you. They want to confess their feelings for you because this person has put you through it or they feel this way about you. Could be a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, or another Scorpio here. They feel like they are recognizing all the hard work you put in and they want to let you know that it has not gone in vain, okay? Let's see. Challenge, honor. Four of swords in reverse. Hmm. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Some of you could be on a cusp. So this person, again, they were unawakened to this connection, but they're waking up. They are waking up and seeing that you are the one. The relationship is going to become stronger because it has been suffering. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. I'm dropping my cards. I'm dropping my cards. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Yeah, this person sees you as their ideal person. And I think they've always known that. But I think a lot of them, it's been really slow between you all. It's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, a loss of joy. You know, they could talk about losing your joy, like seeing promising a promising future with someone and then it doesn't go according to plan. So you get your feelings hurt. I feel like this person did not honor this connection with you. But they recognize you as their soulmate. Trust. We have the Queen of Swords. Mm. And the six of swords. So some of them are going from being very guarded, <laughs> you know, very much head over heart to wanting to, to kind of like smooth things over with you. They want to move to calmer waters with you. They want to heal this. They want to harmonize this relationship. They want positive movement here. They're moving away from this blocked, guarded, um, defensive, being too logical energy towards this. You could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius or a um, Gemini. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon. It says the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows, okay? And the, the moon can talk about challenges, illusions, dreams, you know, living in fantasy land, being in the dark, secrets, all of that. So Spirit is saying that although there may be some uncertainty and may feel vague right now, going through some changes with this person, a lot of miscommunication with this person, that is just... You know, it, it's what happens sometimes. Expect that as well as all the good times. You know, you got to take the good with the bad. One message from your person, Scorpio. What do they want to say to you? I'm not taking that card. I wanted to fall out. Let's see. What do they want to say to you? Give me one card, please, Spirit. I don't want to choose. I wanted to fall out. Thank you, Spirit. And I'm just going to take the one on top. We have territorial. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Defensive, protective, taking the high road, or an Aries here. Okay, so this person wants to, they want to protect you. They want to fight for this connection. The Seven of Wands talks about someone who has a very strong attraction, and they want to fight for this connection, okay? So this is what they want. They want to fight for the connection with you. Um, I think this person would want you to know that although you may go through your challenges, there is no love lost. Uh, this person is going to be reaching out to you soon with some kind of love offer, a message maybe just to let you know they're thinking about you to ask you out on a date i think they confess their feelings for you this is a person who's in touch with their feelings and they want to express it okay those are your messages like the video subscribe and hit the notification bell scorpio if this resonated with you and i'll see you all tomorrow for wealthy wednesday peace hello sagittarius welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon venus rising Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, please do not try to force it, okay? My Saggies, let's see what's going on. Is this for those of you who are in a connection with someone? Soulmate connection, twin flame journey. If you're on that journey, this could resonate with you. Let's see what's going on 
between Sagittarius and their person. What do they want to say to you? Power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Some of y'all are magnetizing someone. It could be another fire sign. A lot of fire energy there. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What you don't see coming is embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. So spirit has something especially for you. Um, and you and this person are very attracted to each other. There's been trouble being receptive here. Your challenge. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. So destiny and fate coming through. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus. And what is the outcome for Sagittarius? The outcome obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness so you can still make this happen. Everybody goes through obstacles. Some of you, this is someone from your past. Rekindle. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. Either it's a new a person from your past who's coming back or the new person you're going to go through something with, but you all are going to be able to bring it back together. Although you face some challenges, okay? What is power? What is power? Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Working very hard. Someone has been putting in a lot of work. Some of you could be in, in a connection with another Sagittarius or a Pisces here. It doesn't have to be those signs. This is just energy. But this is someone who I feel like um, you put a lot of work into. You feel like this is your ideal person. And maybe you feel like you overburdened yourself. You stressed yourself. But I feel you overcoming this burden, okay? Because you two are drawn together like magnets, it says. So although you may have felt like you put in more work than this person, you two are still going to be pulled together. It's inevitable. What you don't see coming is the magician. Embrace. So you're manifesting this. Nine of Pentacles. Very abundant. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini here that you are connected to. And this person, I feel like they are, some of you are like single and, and, and abundant and prosperous on your own. And this person is looking at you and thinking, I want them back. <laughs> so they feel like you are their destiny. You are their destiny with the Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment and they want to manifest this with you. Okay, they're going to do everything that they can to get you back in their good graces. Okay, what is receptive as a challenge? Judgment, mm -hmm. being in denial of the connection could be a Libra. And look at this, Ten of Swords. Someone is definitely fearing that they're losing you. It could be a Gemini or a Libra, doesn't have to be. This is just energy. But this person has been blocking this. There's been some type of betrayal here. Someone did something that went against what they should have been doing for the connection here. Or this is just someone completely unawakened, not listening to that inner voice, that higher calling, telling them that this is what you are supposed to be doing here. But they're going to awaken. They're awakening to this. And they're also fearful that you're done with them, that you're not going to want to talk to them. But they're still going to come your way. Look at this page of pentacles. This person is the, the page of pentacles is very diligent, very committed and loyal. Okay. Could be a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're dealing with Sagittarius. And then we have the queen of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a person that is completely comfortable with you. Now, when we have a page coming and making an offer to a queen, there is something about the energy that, you know, either they could be younger than you or this person is not as evolved or mature as you, okay? That could be the obstacle here because you're coming through in your own energy, very confident, very driven, very motivated, courageous and powerful. And they're coming in as the page of pentacles, very humble and young and, you know, inexperienced here, but they are willing to learn. The page is willing to learn. So you may have to teach this person a lot. I mean, you know, that may be the obstacle. Maybe you don't want to teach, but you're probably going to have to. We have rekindle. Yeah, for some of you, it feels uncertain right now. It could be with the Pisces. It says every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. So some of you, you don't see coming that someone's intuition is going to guide them back to you for this victory. It could be a Leo, it could be a Pisces here. Let me get one message from your person. What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? An older masculine energy is affecting this connection for better or worse. They have a very strong influence over your person's decision making. This can work to your benefit as this person is very wise, fair, and objective. Okay. So some of them have a masculine energy, doesn't have to be a man, but a masculine energy around them who's going to be giving them some guidance. But some of them, it could even be a maternal figure. Um, masculine just means dominant. So with this being the queen of wands, um, they could be going and seeking advice from a parent. Could be a mother or a father. It doesn't have to be gender specific, but 
Yeah, this person is going to give them some good advice that leads them to you. And under that, we have, I'm working on me for us. So I feel this person, they could be a student. They could be someone in school. They're young. They may have just started some new job, new career or something like that, which may be why we have that nine of pentacles and which you don't see coming. This person is working on building their wealth. And maybe once they accomplish that, they will recognize that they are a much better partner. Okay. And their potential. Those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. Peace. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, please do not try to force it. It could be past, present, future energy. It could be someone else in your energy field. This is going to be a soulmate twin flame reading. If you're not on that journey, this may not resonate, but you can listen anyway. If you are, stick around and see what's going on. We have commitment. Okay, commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. What is it that you don't see coming here? Challenges. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. Okay. Challenge is rejoice. Embrace your loving connection and rejoice in your outcome. It's trust. You need to have faith. You need to have trust. I keep saying faith. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. And your overall energy is emotions. Look deep within your emotions. So some of y'all are in a connection, Capricorn, with someone that could possibly be on the verge of facing some challenges. Um, someone could have recently gotten engaged. You could be married to this person. Someone could have given you a promise ring. There's some low level of commitment here that I feel like it's going well, but it's about to face some challenges that you're going to overcome. You're going to overcome because it leads to marriage. Okay. Let's see. Challenge as the parent energy. What's that? What is that all about? Challenge as the parent energy. Challenge. Nine of Pentacles. Judgment. Okay. Some of you, it says commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Some of you may be dealing with someone um, who wants a commitment from you and maybe you don't want the commitment. Okay, Capricorn, or the other way around. Someone who's very independent, very successful in their own, in their own right. And maybe they're like unawakened to this, but I feel like they are waking up to it. But there may be an issue with getting this person to give you a title or commit, you know, Capricorn. That could be what it is. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Libra. It could be someone on the cusp. What are the challenges here? Because there is a soul connection. Um, I feel like somebody does not want to put a title on something. Yeah, page of swords. This person is a little reserved, a little slow, a little delayed as, as far as communication goes. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is slow to commit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another earth sign or an air sign. So the challenge is this person is just taking their own sweet time. Although they are a very solid person, they could be moving extremely slow for you. Um, I think Libra had that energy last week. So maybe you all are connected to a Libra. What is this rejoice? Challenge is Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah, very passionate connection, but no depth. There's like someone who enjoys your company, someone you enjoy their company. It fits, it works, but somebody is not wanting to put a title on it. This person is in and out of connections a lot here. Very passionate though, very fiery, very intense. But definitely, you know, they don't want to acknowledge these emotions. Look deep within your emotions. That's for them. You need to have trust in order for a relationship to flourish. It's the outcome. So someone has to have trust that they can pull this off. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. A younger air sign we have the uh, ten of pentacles in reverse here somebody could be having money issues let's see one more card could be a virgo and then we have the ace of swords they gotta they have to get the clarity they just have to get the clarity here that you and they can actually work together and build something together. The Ten of Pentacles is building a dynasty and a legacy, but it's in reverse. So this is like family issues. This is like a family in, in disarray and turmoil. Everything is turned upside down. So I feel like you might be in separation from this person, maybe because you wanted a commitment, but this person has to get clarity that they can turn this around, okay? 
bottom of the deck we have two of pentacles someone is juggling and i feel like they're juggling between their head and their heart could definitely be an air sign could even be another earth sign you know let's get a message from them what do they want to say to you see look at this <laughs> let's get a room leo aries sagittarius this person likes to come towards you for the physical let's get one more message because i don't like that energy they don't have to do better than that they don't have to do better than that they enjoy you physically but i feel like this person is so afraid to open up and feel these emotions higher message it's giving feels good everything you desire happy content and satisfied we have the nine of cups coming out there some of you could be connected to a pisces this person knows that you're their person you're their ideal person you're everything that they want in a partner i think some of you let me grab a, a tarot card and see spirit what can they do about this because this person seems very non-committal look at this Look at this. They see you as the happily ever after. We got two Pisces cards coming out here. Some of you are connected to a Pisces. Because your your last couple of cards have been a lot of Pisces energy. Especially with this emotions here. They have a lot of love for you. And guess what, y'all? They don't plan to let you go. They do not plan to let you go. It's like they are thinking about this happily ever after with you. So if that's any, you know, consolation, hold on to that. Manifest that. You know, be receptive to that. Not so much these these other challenges because you are going to overcome them we have trust this person just has to lean more into their emotions and everything will work out fine you don't have control over that but you know you can manifest it and make it move a little quicker in the 3d by affirming that this is what i deserve i deserve more than a hookup i deserve more than just let's get a room you want to come better than that and they're going to have no choice but to do that so those are your messages capricorn thank you so much for joining me i will see you all tomorrow for wealthy wednesday don't forget to tune in like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video peace y'all hello aquarius welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before this is going to be for the sign of aquarius sun moon venus rising take what resonates leave the rest for someone else if it's not your story please do not try to force it to fit y'all this is for those of you who are on the twin flame journey. This could be past, present, future energy. This could be someone else in your energy field. Flip the rose as you need to. Only take what resonates. What's going on with Aquarius and their soulmate, their twin? We have tested. I believe Leo got tested as well. Was a Gemini. You could be connected to one of those signs. What you don't see coming is synchronicity. Biggest challenge is surprise. And the outcome is guilt. Overall energy between you and your person is enlightenment. So someone is awakening to this. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We can recognize, no, we recognize that we are one with the divine, okay? So this is definitely a soulmate. Definitely someone who may be a little bit unawakened testing your patience. See, I feel somebody testing your patience, but I feel you knowing, getting signs that this is your person. And the biggest challenge, I feel like you might be dealing with someone who likes to be unpredictable, okay? Aquarius, you could be dealing with another air sign. Someone who doesn't like too much structure. They kind of want to um, play it by ear. They want to fly by the seat of their pants. They just want to, they want to be kept on the edge of their seat at all time. Okay. And there's some guilt here. This person is recognizing that they dropped the ball here. They know that they're testing your patience. They know that they're testing your resolve. And yet, you know, they haven't stopped because their personality is their personality, but they do feel bad about making you wait. They feel bad about putting you through what they put you through. What is this tested? Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. How are they testing you? Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. This person, they play a lot of games. They see you as a solid person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. They see you as a solid partner. They see you as someone that they could actually have a future with. You've nurtured them. You've been kind to them. You've supported them. You've done everything that you can for them. And they keep leaving you out in the cold. They keep making you feel unwelcome. They keep making you feel like they're choosing other things and people over you. And nobody has time for that. Someone could also be going through financial issues, may have been okay financially and then kind of fell off a little bit, maybe being tested in your finances. Okay, what's coming that you don't see? Synchronicity here. Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Options. Ooh, you're going to have some options. This person is going to see that you have options and then they're going to want to fight for you. Could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, Aquarius. Somebody that you're dealing with is looking at you and realizing that other people have their eyes on you. And this is one of the ways that the universe is making this person aware. Hey, you better get it together because you're going to lose this person if you don't. 
some of y'all are definitely in the spotlight and you're gonna have a lot of options what is the surprise is the challenge these inconsistencies this you know wanting to be unpredictable ace of wands and the two of wands this person everything is passion with them could be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius that you're dealing with aquarius this person so much attraction for you so much passion for you but they are just like this this is just who they are this is making me this is giving me the vibes from the um the capricorn reading so some of you could be on a cusp because they were dealing with someone too who had love for them but was very much motivated by the physical this is a very physical connection but this person is also a person they can make a decision to kind of just walk away and go towards something else. They're very, they're visionary. Look how he's looking out. He has a world in the palm of his hand, right? It's just like this person is seeing you as someone that they could be with. They could have this, this very passionate, loving connection with. But they're also someone who is always choosing between two things. It's something else that they have to walk away from. And it doesn't have to be another person, although it could be. Maybe this is why guilt is here. What is this guilt as the outcome? I feel them feeling bad for mistreating you. What is this guilt? Oh, look at this. Being deceptive. That's your own energy. It could be another Aquarius. And then the Eight of Swords. Yes, this person, they are guilty. Some of them may be even in prison. Someone could have broken the law here. Seven of Swords is someone who steals. He lies. He cheats. He's underhanded. Um, and then this could represent actual prison or the prison of the mind. This person is trapped in their own thoughts and their own guilt. They feel ashamed. The Seven of Swords is very much about shame. So a Gemini or an Aquarius you could be dealing with. And then enlightenment. So wake, awakening. Waking up to this. Look what y'all in with. Happily ever after. You could be connected to a Pisces. Some of y'all could be on the cusp. Aquarius, Pisces cusp. All right, let's get one message from them. What are they going to do? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? We have lip lock. Quiet secrets holding back. Respect, trustworthy, discretion, private, confidant. This person is not planning to speak up right now. I'm so sorry. Aquarius, they're not planning to speak up. Sorry for kicking the camera, y'all. But when they do, remember you had the Ten of Pentacles. So there's going to be some silence for a while because this person is trapped in this guilt. Lip lock. They can't, they, they feel like they can't break free. Their hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. But when they do come to their senses, they're going to be ready to make this official. That's why you had that 10 of cups. Title, commitment, engagement, marriage, and moving in. So those are your messages. After a period of some silence and, you know, no communication, a ghosting type, type of energy I pick up here. This is probably why you're being tested right now. You're not hearing from this person. Again, they're leaving you out in the cold. Um... They come back around, they break their silence, and they let you know that they actually want this forever. It's going to be up to you whether you choose to stay with them or not. They they feel a little fickle to me. Could be another air sign, but um, yeah, it's going to be up to you. It's your life, you know? So do what makes you happy. These are your messages. I will see you all tomorrow for Wealthy Wednesday. Thank you so very much for joining me, Aquarius. Peace.